So please join on time, my dear students. Let's open SAP. One second, let's record the session. Today I will share practice material. Okay. Thanks for reminding me. Anita joined. Huh? Lakshmi ma'am, can you please start ma'am? Lakshmi ma'am, are you there? Yeah, thank you ma'am. So everyone, do one thing. Guys, good reading of uh, enterprise structure, everyone. SAP enterprise structure. Good reading of SAP enterprise structure. Note it down these steps, everyone. Note it down this define company, define credit control area, uh, edit, copy, delete check company code, define business area, define functional area, maintain consolidation business area maintain FM area and define segment. Up to segment, you can note it down. Profit center is belongs to basically new GL concept. Not now, it will come later. Please note it down these steps, everyone. If you write in case, if you want T codes also, you can write. Last four digit is the T codes, okay? Don't write uh, this one. Uh, profit center, up to segment, you can note it down. Last four digit is the T code. Yes, no, okay, okay, yes, no. Are you writing? Yes, sir. Yeah, please, please. Once you completed, please respond. Please note it down. Done, everyone. Completed. Yes, no. Okay. Done, sir. Yeah. So now, everyone, concentrated, everyone. Now, I want to create business area. Now, I want to create business area. What is mean by business area? 
So in the last class, we already discussed business area in the sense branches like that. So in our, as for our phenomena, as for our phenomena, what business areas we want to create? You already noted everyone. What business area we want to create? What business area? One is Hyderabad business area. Tell me anyone. Hyderabad Mumbai. business area. Hyderabad business area. Mumbai. Mumbai business area. Pune and Bangalore. Pune business area and Bangalore business area like that. My dear students, here you can catch the point here. In case if you want to understand more information about uh, business area, why business area, what is the purpose of business area. In case if you want to get more information, just go through this document, everyone. So this document can give more and more information. Why the business area? What is the purpose of business area? You just go through this, okay? Whenever, even here, some links or some data, a lot of things is given. Whenever you have time, just go through. No, sir, we understood what is meant by business area. Now we want to create business area. So then how you can create? Very, very, very simple, everyone. Very, very, very simple. So in case, if you double click on this execute button, double click on this execute button, double click on this business area, execute button, click on your new entry, set up here any four digit and write the description. I'm repeating one second for my satisfaction. I'm repeating one second. So come to this path, SPRO, SAP reference IMG, and uh, enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, then define business area. Define business area. So you just double click on this execute button, double click on this execute button, click on your new entry, click on your new entry here. Set up here any four digit and write the description. This four digit is the identification of your business area. Identification of your business area. So for example, guys, my dear students, I'm set up here RM uh, HB. What is that? RM Hyderabad business area. Enter. Then RM M B Mumbai business area. Enter. Then one more RM uh, PB. E. Very good. RM Pune business area. Enter. So some already somebody already used this four digit. Okay, some other students, somebody already used this four, four digit. So then you can change the digit, everyone. Here the point is, you can set up any four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets, but don't be any duplicate. In case if you use the duplicate, this type of message will come. This four digit already exists the same as. Then you can change. Example, I'm giving, uh, PA I'm giving, PA. Enter. Set up here any four digits. This is not a standard. Set up here any four digit, but don't be on a duplicate. And uh, one more is called RM uh, BA. BA. RM Bengaluru business area. Enter. Then click on your save. That's it. Click on your save. Then one more, one more, everyone. Concentrated, everyone. One more, one more, everyone. Next one. Define functional area. Functional area, nothing but department. In SAP FI, department. We have accounts department, financial department, uh, admin department, uh, marketing department. So we want to create the departments. We want to create the departments. For example, in case if you want to understand more what is meant by departments and all, just go through this document. Just go through this document. This document can explain why, what, when, blah, 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 etc. So it will give a lot of information. Okay. And uh, just go through this. I mean, whenever you have, you can, uh, uh, you, can uh, you can read this one, everyone. Example. Ex you can read this example. 
typically functional area are sales production marketing administration research and development blah 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 xyz what is this everyone what is this sales production marketing administration department. this is called departments mm -hmm. so here we want to create the departments how to create the departments how to create the department very simple everyone so you just double click on this execute button you just double click on this execute button you just double click on this execute button click on your new entry uh note it on one note everyone note it on one note note it on one note everyone some practicing servers some practicing server functional area execute button functional area execute button cannot work in that case we want to use the t code fm underscore function fm underscore function So what is the case? Sometimes here, everyone, some practicing servers, what happened? So if you double click on this execute button, it won't work. So here one one message will come. Is so This is not will work. You can use the T code FM underscore function. So go to SAP Easy Access screen, use the FM underscore function, the T code, then you can create functional area. Very simple, everyone, to create the functional area. Listen careful. Listen, my dear students, listen. You just double click on this execute button, double click on this execute button and uh, click on your new entry, click on your new entry. Again, set up here any four digit and write the description. Example, let it be uh, RM, uh, RM FD. RM FD means RM Financing. Finance Department. Finance oh. Department. So is this alpha numeric or it has to be alphabetical? Anything, anything. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets, alpha numerical, anything you can set up. No problem. Okay. Thank you. I will please go on mute. I will give you time to ask the questions. Okay, please. And uh, set up here again RM. Uh, SD. Uh, uh, SD. Very good. RM, SD. RM, sales department. Or you can call as a sales functional area like that. Sales department. Enter. Then RM. MD. 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 RM. Marketing. Department. Enter. So guys, this RM, FD, RM, SD, RM, MD. This is not a standard. Here you can set up any four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Okay, it may be numerical or it may be alphabets, but don't be any duplicate. Okay, and uh, so next one is called RM um, HD, RM HR department, HR department, enter. So like so on, you can create many departments, whatever departments you have, you can create many departments like this. Click on your save, click on your save. The next one, next one. Guys, next one is something important. Concentrate here, my dear students. Next one is called something important, everyone. So my dear students, what is mean by consolidation business area? What is mean by consolidation business area? So you just double, I mean, what is mean by consolidation business area? Example, everyone, example, concentrate here, my dear students. Listen careful, listen careful. 
you try to understand here. For example, I have four uh, four business areas. What is that? One is Hyderabad. One is uh, Bangalore, and one is Mumbai, and one is Pune. My dear students, concentrate here. So, what is this? This is called business areas. This is called business areas. And uh, above this business area, I can create one functional area. What is that example? Example, everyone. Uh, South India. South India. Consolidation business area. Then uh, North India. India. Consolidation business area. So first, I can create South India consolidation business area, North India consolidation business area. So next, what we will do, next class or next, what we will do, we can assign, we can assign South India with Hyderabad and uh, with Bangalore. North India, I can assign map, mapping, we can map uh, Mumbai, then Pune. So if you assign like this, what happened? If you assign like this, what happened? My dear students, if you go to Hyderabad business area, there you will get only Hyderabad related information. If you go to Bengaluru business area, you will get only Bengaluru related information. If you go to South India bus consolidation business area, they will, then you will get both information. Both information. Same way here also. We have Mumbai business area and we have foreign business, Pune business area. If you go to Mumbai, then you will get only Mumbai related information. If you go to Pune, you will get only Pune related information. Either you can go to North Indian consolidation business area, you will get both information. So what, what here you people want to understand here? What is meant by consolidation business area? Consolidation business area designed for the reporting purpose. High level reporting purpose. Example, example everyone, concentrate here. Concentrate here everyone. I have, I have two branches in India. I have two branches in India. I have two branches in America. I have two branches in America. So what happened is I can create domestic consolidation business area, foreign consolidation business area. So in the foreign consolidation business areas, I can assign American business areas. Domestic, consolid domestic consolidation business area, I can assign Indian business areas. So why you required consolidation business area? Consolidation business area for reporting purpose. For reporting purpose. Guys, are you following? Yes, no, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So this is called reporting purpose. Now, what you people want to understand here? First, how to create consolidation business area later how to map your consolidation business area to your business area later how to post accounting entries later how to generate the reports so this is step by step process first you can understand what is mean by that how to create that how to assign that how it can be helped during the accounting entry posting how it can be helped during the reports blah 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 x y z First, let's try to understand how to create consolidation business area. Very simple, everyone. Very simple. <clears throat> so, in case if you want to understand more information about consolidation business area, you just double click on this execute button. Hare Krishna. Double click on this execute button. Here you can go through blah, 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 X, Y, Z. Better... Uh, Uh, you can uh, can you please note it down uh, this uh, 
ये कंसोलिडेशन बिजनेस एरिया यू कैन नोट इट डाउन एवरीवन यू कैन राइट फर्स्ट पेरा यू कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ये ये कंसोलिडेशन बिजनेस एरिया इज नोट इट डाउन बेटर फॉर योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग पर्पस नोट इट डाउन नोट इट डाउन एवरीवन ये कंसोलिडेशन बिजनेस एरिया इज अकाउंटिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल यूनिट दैट रिप्रेजेंट Central business segment with business organization, and that has balance sheet which can be include business area consolidation. Done. Noted. Completed. मंजूषा मैम जॉइन ना मंजूषा आर यू देर हेलो मंजूषा मैम हाउ आर यू हाय सर फाइन सर हाउ बट यू सर थैंक यू सर गुड गुड नाइस टू हियर एंड नाइस टू सी यू अगेन या सो एवरीवन कंसंट्रेटेड एवरीवन एंड सो यू जस्ट डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस एक्सीक्यूट बटन maintain consolidation business area you just double click on this and click on your new entry so set up here any four digit and write the description i am repeating once again bro i am repeating once again listen careful and uh, come to this path everyone come to this path double click on this execute button double click on this execute button click on your new entry click on your new entry set up here any four digit and write the description example example everyone uh, rm uh, rm sc what is that rm south india consolidation business area and one more is called rm uh, nc uh, rm uh, north india North India Consolidation Business Area. Enter. So set up here any four digit and write the description. Set up here any four digit and uh, write the description. Click on your save. Click on your save and save. Click on your save. Then one more, one more next step, guys. Am I going fast or am I going fast? No sir. No. No sir. Everyone is understanding. Yes sir. Yes, very good. Yes. Click sir. on your yeah, good, good. Click on your save and back. So even I will share practice material, all the screenshot, path, uh, everything, T code, everything is there. Then after this class, I will share. You can practice accordingly, and click on your save and back. I will share in the group WhatsApp group. The next one. FM area, guys. Note it down. One note, everyone. FM area. Note it down. One note, everyone. FM area. FM area means. FM area means. funds management or financial management 
funds management or financial management. It is controlled by the it is controlled by the cash flow activity. Cash flow activity. Guys, one thing, everyone, one thing. Sir, you are saying consolidation business area is this, FM area is this. Then how it can going to control? It will come later, everyone. Now you are in creating stage. Now you are in creating stage. First, you have to create. Later, you have to map. Later, you have to configure remaining objectives. Later, you have to post the transaction. Later, you can generate the reports. On the reports, you can analyze how this FM area will going to work and all. How this consolidation business area will going to work on. Now you are in creation stage, very initial stage. First, you can try to understand what is mean by that, then how to create. Okay, everything won't cover one day, na? like that. So you just uh, uh, double click on this execute button, uh, maintain FM area, but double click on this uh, document, I mean document for understanding. Everyone here you can uh, note it down uh, which one uh, you can write uh, uh, which one you can write here. You can write right every third pair. Like you can must link FM area to organizational. One second. You can write this example, everyone. Okay, better. Wait, uh, maybe you are going to confuse you for write that. Uh, you can write first one, everyone. First two pair. The functional, the financial management area. Note it down this, everyone. First pair you can write. The financial management area is organizational unit within accounting structure. Business organization from represent of cash, budget management and funds management. Note it on this first pair. D, you can start from the functional area of financial management. Please note it down clearly. Yes, sir. Then everyone, so what you people want to understand here, everyone, FM area, financial management or funds management is controlled by the cash flow activities. First you can create, then later coming classes, it will come, how it will go into control. So you just double click on this execute button, maintain FM area, you just double click on this, click on here, new entry. Set up here any four digit and write the description. So your four digit is and uh, example RM FM and RM FM area. So which currency, which currency you follow? My currency is called INR. INR currency related activities it want to control. Then click on here save. Click on here save. And uh, next one. Click on define segment. In the last class, we had uh, some segments, everyone. RM, uh, PPP cement segment, OPP oh. cement, OPP cement segment, and uh, steel sheet segment, steel rod segment, uh, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. Okay. So how to create the segment? How to create the segments, everyone? So very simple, my dear students. 
you just double click on this execute button to create the segment click on your new entry click on your new entry and set up here any four digit and write the description so example i'm set up here rm um, uh, oh. ppp set rm p yes rm ppp cement segment and uh, rm os os very good rm opp cement segment and uh, one more rm ss uh, yes, yes very good rm uh, steel sheet segment and one more is called rm rs rm the uh, steel rod segment press enter and save very simple everyone set up here any four digit and write the description click on your save so here here everyone the very 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 important is define credit control area before going to define credit control area any doubts any questions please ask what is mean by business area functional area consolidation business area fm area segment any questions everyone any questions please ask now if you do not have any question let's i can go ahead with the credit control area no questions can you explain fm area one time sir very good very good so actually what happened ma'am every company every company there is a cash transactions in india there is a one rule uh, in india there is a one rule per day per person we can take or we can pay only 20000 rupees maybe it is changed nowadays or only 20000 any accountant any changes happened 10,000 per, 10, per, per, no, no, per person. 10,000, no, 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 no
you purchase the goods but you make the payment afterwards is correct excellent very good so everyone um, what is the phenomena of credit card what is the phenomena of credit card everyone can anyone explain you buy now and you pay later after a month Nine. What happened? Upon they give some credit. Ah, uh, I will tell you. I will tell you. What happened here? Banker will give you one limit. Banker will give you one limit. So you can use that credit card up to that limit. Maybe you can buy clothes. Maybe you can buy groceries. Maybe you can buy anything. But you cannot reach. more than that limit credit control credit card credit control so banker will set up one limit banker will set up one limit same to same way same to same way here credit control area means here credit control area means it is controlled by the credit sales to the customer credit sales to the customer example example everyone for example for example everyone listen listen everyone listen listen carefully for example i am delight employee as a consultant as a consultant we are implementing rm group of company we are implementing rm group of company so you want to ask your client you want to ask your client what is your credit control area limit what is your credit control area limit so your client will be going to confirm your client will be going to confirm how much limit you want to set up so that limit is controlled by the credit sales of the customers now we can give the billing they will give the cash later they will give the amount later for example for example everyone for example my credit control area my credit control area limit is 2000 rupees example example 2000 rupees i have three customers everyone i have three customers example ramana and ko ramana and ko then uh, then ramu private limited ramu private limited and uh, somu private limited i have three customers somu private limited i have three customers so what is my total credit limit what is my total credit limit my total credit limit is 2000 rupees then i can give credit sales to 1000 rupees to ramana 1000 rupees to ramana then again 500 rupees to ramu now for the somu i can give i am trying to give 600 rupees to somu system cannot accept it if you give 600 rupees why because i already used 1500 then you have to option only 500 if you use more than 2000 rupees of limit system cannot accept it system cannot accept it you can use 500 system can accept it you can use 400 system can accept it so your credit sales is under this limit you don't want to go more than that limit for example everybody is credit all the inventory is going to credit then how i can buy new new inventory for example everyone all the customer who only taken credit only they are not giving cash my inventory is completed they are not giving cash they will tell i will give you later if they are not giving how my cash will going to generate 
how my funds will going to generate. Then I, again, I need to purchase inventory, then I want to sell, right? That is the reason we will set up one limit. Up to that limit, your credit sales don't want to exceed. Credit control area means everyone, concentrated everyone. Credit control area means here we will set up one limit. We will set up one limit. You can give the credit sales up to that limit. If you go more than that, system cannot accept it. Example, credit card. Banker will give one limit. 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh, 5 lakh, 50,000, whatever. You can use that credit card up to that limit. If you want to more than that, then system a card never work. Following everyone? Following? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, what we need to tell? So, who will give you this limit, sir? Who will, who will tell you this limit? You don't want to take your own decision. Your client will be tell you. Now you are implementing RM group of company. That people will going to confirm. So how much credit control? How much, how much amount we need to enter? So in the credit control area, we want to set up one limit amount. That amount is controlled by the credit sales of the customers. Credit sales of the customers. Clear, clear so far. Can I set up the limit? In case, for example, if you want to understand more, in case if you want to know, sir, I need to understand more information. What is meant by credit? Why, why, blah, 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 blah. Just go through this document. This document can give more information. Okay. This document will give more information. Better write this. Uh, First line item, everyone. The credit control area is noted down this. You can start from here. First pair, you can note it down. The credit control area is organizational unit specified and check. Credit limit for the customers. Hare Krishna. Do you got my point, everyone? Here. Yeah. So, how to set up the limit? How to set up the limit? Very simple, everyone. SAP is very easy, but lengthy process. Process is lengthy. Everyone, SAP is not a river, not a ocean, not a mountain like that. No, it's not like that. SAP, if you properly understand the SAP, it's become easy, but it is lengthy process. It is on a lengthy process. So you just double click on this execute button, everyone. Define credit control area. You just double click on this. Click on your new entry. Click on your new entry. Then uh, your credit control area. Set up here any four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. And uh, RM, CA, currency, INR. And here, when your credit limit want to update, here standard double zero double zero one two. At the time of billing, open order value, time of excess delivery and billing document. It is a standard actually. It is a standard. And here you need to maintain credit limit. How much your uh, client will be confirmed? That much limit you have to maintain. 
example you can take any big amount if you want you can take or take one big amount okay then click on your save so click on your save and one step back here you can write the description rm credit control area enter and save This is the one. Okay. Click on your save and back. Everyone, this is called enterprise structure creation. This is called enterprise structure creation. Then later we need to map, right? Assignment. For example, everyone, concentrate here. Listen careful. Listen careful. Go to SPRO, enter SAP reference IMG. Select your enterprise structure. If you go to definition, you want to create the enterprise structure. If you go to assignment, if you go to assignment, you need to assign. Can you please note it down these steps, everyone? Note it down these steps. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four steps you can note it down. Profit center will come later, not required now. You can write it, please. Please note it down, these four steps. Everyone done? Done everyone? Done. Please respond everyone. So my dear students, here you try to understand. Assign company code to company. What is my company everyone? What is my company? What is my company? RM group of company. RM group of company. What is that five digit? RM GOC. Is it correct? Correct. Then uh, what about my company codes? RM double one, huh? maybe double one. And uh, RM one two. What is this? Maybe RM steels, steels, private limited, steels, private limited. Then RM Cement Limited. So this is my group of company. And this is my company codes. So now what I can do? So we already created my group of company. We already created my company codes. Now I want to map. Mapping means this company code belongs to which group of company? 
system want to understand system want to understand why you are going to map why you are going to map why because in the system there is a lot of company codes there, there is a lot of group of companies system want to understand this company code belongs to which group of company okay so now why not i want to assign my group of company to my company codes my group of company to my company codes okay so how to assign how to map clear everyone understood yes no okay yes sir yes i want to assign i want to map how you are going to map how you are going to assign blah 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 so much so my dear students concentrate here everyone so you just double click on assign company code to company and click on your position here click on your position what is your company code rm11 so this is my company codes everyone here you want to assign your group of company i am repeating once again i am repeating once again double click on this execute button double click on this execute button click on your position enter here your company code rm11 so here here your company rm goc rm group of company so this is this is my group of company this is my company code same way this is my group of company rm goc this is my group of company and this is my company code so under this group of company these two company codes will come so we are guiding to the system we are providing the guidance to the system we are providing guidance to the system click on your save and back click on your save and back. the next one next one assign credit control area to company codes assign company codes to credit control area what is my credit control area what is my credit control area everyone rm ca then what is my company codes rm 11 then rm 12 so i want to assign like this i need to assign i want to map so double click on assign company code to credit control area and click on your position rm double one so this is my company codes here you want to assign your credit control area rm ca rm ca in case if you are remember this four digit you can directly you can enter sir I am unable to remember these four digits, sir. What can I do? No problem. No problem, everyone. Click on your browse. Example, click on your browse. All the credit control areas will come. So, which one yours? You can select that one. For example, mine's RM, right? Search and search here. RM star, enter. See, this one. This is mine's. This is mine. So here you can, if you are remember, you can directly enter. Otherwise, click on your browse. Then you can check which one yours. You can search here. All the things will come. Whatever you are related, you can assign that one. You just double click on this. RM something. For example, mine's this. Select this and double click. It will come. Example, I am telling. For mine's is RM CA. RM credit control area. Press enter and save. And save. Next one. Assign consolidation business area to business area. So this phenomena everyone. What I want to do? This is the one. Everyone, what I want to do? This is the one. South India, I want to assign Hyderabad and Bangalore. North India, I want to assign Mumbai and Pune. So now I want to map here. Now I want to map here. 
నార్త్ ఇండియా కన్సాలిడేషన్ హైదరాబాద్ అండ్ బెంగళూరు సౌత్ ఇండియా కన్సాలిడేషన్ ముంబై అండ్ పూణే ముంబై అండ్ పూణే సో ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఆర్ యూ ఫీలింగ్ బోర్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఫీలింగ్ బోర్ ఎస్ నో నో సార్ నో సార్ నో సార్ నో సార్ ఫాలోయింగ్ వాట్ ఐమ్ టెలింగ్ ఎస్ సార్ ఎస్ సార్ so here you just double click on maintain consolidation business area and click on your position your rm so this is uh, here you can understood uh, bengaluru business area comes under this one north india na rm uh, sorry south right rm yes rm south india so this hyderabad uh, rm sc and this mumbai north india rm n n c pune is a uh, north india rm you can see like that so these two things and is two things is called south india hyderabad sc south india press center here this is two things is called south india one and these two things is called north indian so north india this one mumbai and pune and hyderabad and bank click on your save the last step in the assignment assign company code to financial management area so you just double click on your click on your position rm balwar so this is my company codes here you can assign your fm area rm fa rm fm area then here also rm fm area this is my company code and this is my fm area press enter then save guys note it on one note everyone note it on one note note it on one note FI enterprise structure FI enterprise structure note it down the note everyone FI enterprise structure there is a no changes ECC and S4 HANA no change enterprise structure level there is a no changes how look like in ecc same to same s4 hana we configured in s4 hana right how you configured in s4 hana same to same ecc also there is a no changes for example everyone let's open ecc let's open ecc everyone ecc server open ecc server uh, double click on ecc then enter username and password this is ecc server everyone password welcome this is ecc server everyone how would i know this is ecc server how i i can verify go to systems status. status here you can check so here hana data database database system is a rkill hana means hana database ecc means other databases okay it's an r by 3 actually and for example if you go uh, in the ecc spro sap reference img select here enterprise structure definition financial accounting same to same define company define credit control area company code business area functional area 
and uh, consolidation business area and fm area and segment here the thing is here the thing is if you double click on uh, uh, functional area you just double click on this see here you can observe everyone this execute button is not working you wrote you noted now one note you noted one note here in the ecc this execute button cannot work what it is saying use the transaction fm underscore function what you noted you are what noted you noted everyone what noted you noted some system something can anyone read the note everyone please read the note please everyone not interested let it be so even assignment also uh, same everyone uh, go ahead sir uh, everyone please note it yes uh, yeah, please please yes some practicing servers functionally the execute button cannot work in that case we want to use t code fm underscore function that is what function. now did you understood sir yes sir yes so everyone same way here also assign company code credit card one second everyone some disturbance here So here, same thing in the ECC, assign credit control area, assign company code to company, assign company code to credit control area, business area to consolidation business area, company code to financial management area like that. Okay. Questions, questions, please. Questions, please. Yeah. So, so you, you explained that. Uh, we need to create four digit code that has to be alphanumeric but is there any particular way that we should write uh, in, like in real time you can set up any for example before setup you can confirm from your uh, client so here uh, we want to set up any four digit it may be numerical or and alphabets which four digit you are going to like so you are con your client will be going to confirm accordingly you want to set up Yeah, next. Uh, guys, uh, today is Friday, right? Uh, Saturday, Sunday, no class. Sunday is a presentation class. Your senior students will going to discuss some presentation like that. One, one, for example, I can give one topic. Then that topic that people will going to analyze, make it as a presentation. Okay. If you are interested, you can attend the presentation class. Otherwise, please join your class on Monday. Saturday, Sunday, no class. If you are interested, you can join Sunday presentation class. Of course, you will not understand why because they are very forward. Okay. Uh, there is, they discuss advanced topics. Now, just now you completed enterprise structure. Na? Maybe you will not understand. If you are if you are interested, you can join. Otherwise, not required. Clear? So Clear time? so far? So what time? Uh, maybe morning, morning, 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock. We will update. You can ask uh, Lakshmi ma'am for the link if you are interested. Okay. Not now, maybe evening or tomorrow like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, everyone. Can I say bye? We'll meet Monday. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, we need the practice material. Uh, you should. Ah, I will send, sir. Hare Krishna. I will. I already told you, na. Please, sir, I will send out immediately. If I disconnect it immediately, I will share in the group. Okay? okay. Thank okay. you, sir. Uh, enterprise structure practice material, immediately I will going to share. Okay, sir? Okay.